Genesis chapter 47. Then Joseph came and told Pharaoh and said, My father, my brethren, and their flocks and their herds and all that they have are come out of the land of Canaan. And behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of his brethren, even five men, and presented them to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. They said moreover to Pharaoh, For to sojourn in the land are we come, for your servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the famine is sore in the land of Canaan. Now, therefore, we pray you, let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh spoke to Joseph, saying, Your father and your brethren are come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. In the best of the land, make your father and your brethren to dwell in the land of Goshen. Let them dwell, and if you know any men of activity among them, then make them rulers over my cattle. And Joseph brought in Jacob his father and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How old are you? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pilgrimage are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of years of my life been, and have not attained to the days of the years of the life of my father, in the days of their pilgrimage. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh, and went out from before Pharaoh, and Joseph placed his father and his brethren, and gave them possession in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph nourished his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the corn which they bought, and Joseph bought, brought the money into Pharaoh's house. And when, the, when money failed in the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in your presence? For the money fails. And Joseph said, Give your cattle, and I will give for your cattle if money fail. And they brought their cattle to Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses, and for the flocks, and for the cattle of the herds, and for the donkeys, and he fed them with bread for all their cattle for that year. And when that year was ended, they came to him the second year and said to him, We will not hide it from my Lord, how that our money is spent. My Lord also has our herds of cattle. There is not anything left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us in our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants to Pharaoh. And give us seed, that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities from one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other end thereof. Only the land of the priests bought he not, for the priests had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh, and did eat their portion which Pharaoh gave them. Wherefore they sold not their lands. Then Joseph said to the people, Behold, I have bought you this day in your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. And it shall come to pass in the increase that you shall give the fifth part to Pharaoh, and four parts shall be for your own, for the seed of the field and for your food and for them of your households and for your food and your little ones. And they said, You have saved our lives. Let us find grace in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants." 
And Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt to this day that Pharaoh should have the fifth part, except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt in the country of Goshen, and they po had possessions there and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. So the whole age of Jacob was 140 and seven years. And the time drew near that Israel must die. And he called his son Joseph and said to him, If now I have found grace in your sight, put, I pray you, your hand under my thigh and deal kindly and truly with me. Bury me not, I pray you, in Egypt. But I will lie with my fathers and you shall carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their burying place. And he said, I will do as you have said. And he said, Swear to me. And he swore to him. And Israel bowed himself upon the bed's head. 